Hello everyone and today's topic is finite countable and uncountable sets. Okay, so let us first see the definition for any positive integer n let jn be the set whose elements are the integers from 1 to n. Okay, and let j be the set consisting of all the positive integers. So see here jn is equals to 1, 2, 3 n dot up to n okay so this is nothing but the set of first n natural numbers okay so here the cardinality of jn is what n because it is having n number of elements okay and z is the set of all the positive integers okay not z j so j is equals to the set of all the positive integers means z plus Okay, which is equals to what? The set of all the natural numbers. Okay, it is starting from 1, 2, 3. It is starting from 1 and it will go up to infinity. Okay, because what? The set of natural numbers is what? Infinite. Okay, this starts from 1 and then it goes to infinity. All right like this so but it is countably infinite and the cardinality of every countably infinite set is what lf naught okay it's a spelling is lf naught n a u g s t all right and the set of all the uncountable sets is given by continuum so uh, uncountable set uh, let it be qc that is the set of all the irrational numbers and this is given by continuum okay and its spelling is c o n t i n u u m okay so here j represents the set of natural numbers and j n uh, represents the set of n natural numbers okay so for any set a we say a is finite if a is similar to jn for some n okay now a is similar to n means what say uh, we will call a set a a set a is said to be finite if a is similar to jn okay so here similar means so yeah a is said to be similar to j n if there exists a bijection between them okay that means this f from a to j n here this should be 1 1 and on 2 okay any function which is uh, 1 1 and on 2 is said to be bijective okay now see if every element of a is assigned a unique element in b that is only one element in b then we call it a function isn't it so see this is a function okay this is a function but see now this one if this goes here this goes here okay now this one is not a function okay because here c is not mapped to any element in b all right so this is not a function and if uh, this is such a b c d this is one two three four now this is also not a function okay because this should be assigned to only one unique element okay one element can be assigned to only one element in B. All right. That means, see, the uh, the lines should be somehow like this. Okay. This is allowed in function, but this is not allowed. Okay. And also, every element should be mapped. Okay. If your any element is left out, then that will not be a function like this. Okay. Like here. All right. 
now let us uh, get back to our definition so yeah you know what is a function and uh, similarly you also know what is one one function all right if anyone has any doubt regarding this function one one uh, function on two function then they can refer to my previous video in which i have discussed about uh, what is a one one function and on two function okay still i am giving a short summary over here of one one function now see in one one function if these are two sets okay then see a b c and here it's one two three then this is a one one function okay but here if we do a b c one two three see if i'm doing like this then this is not one one okay because here one element of domain should correspond to only one element of uh, codomain okay now this one is known as the domain and this one is known as the codomain all right and next is your onto function and onto function the range must be equals to the codomain okay so here see and uh, let me draw this out if this is a and this is b these are two sets okay and yeah, you can uh, do this this is a function f all right so similarly here this is a function f and this is a b c this is 1 2 3 and now see if we do it like this okay so now this is not on to okay why because according to the definition of on to function every element of this code domain must have a pre image okay so here we can see that 3 its pre image is not existing okay so therefore this is not an on to function okay see if uh, we take two sets a b this is the domain and this is the codomain in the system map sorry function then if this is a b c d and this is 1 2 3 4 4 then every element of b should have a pre image all right so that means okay like this if we are having something like this then this is a on to function okay so here because uh, see what is range see from here we can see that this is called the codomain this b consisting of here b is equals to 1 2 3 this is called the codomain okay and range is what range is equals to 1 and 3 okay because this two is left out all right so similarly here we can see that the codomain and range are equal isn't it both are what 1 2 3 4 now we can see that if i put this here still this is a one one function all right so uh, this is a property of one one function that the cardinality of set a will be less than equals to the cardinality of set b okay and for this on to function see here what we can see that the cardinality of set b will be less than equals to the cardinality of set a all right so uh, this were the properties that we needed then two non empty sets a and b are said to be similar if there exists a bijection between them that is the function from a to b must be one one and on to okay 
because if f from a to b is 1 1 then cardinality of a will be less than equals to the cardinality of b okay and if f from a to b will be on to then the cardinality of b will be less than equals to the cardinality of a or this can also be written as cardinality of a greater than equals to cardinality of b okay so this two let this be one and let this be equation two okay so from this two equations what we can imply is cardinality of a is equals to the cardinality of b isn't it so this is what similarity means for two infinite sets if uh, two infinite sets are similar then their cardinality will be same okay so see here for any set a we say a is finite if a is similar to jn so a will be set to be a finite set if it is similar to jn because see if a is similar to jn then this means what uh, the cardinality of A will be equals to the cardinality of Jn, isn't it? And we know that the cardinality of Jn is what? N. So, the cardinality of A will be what? This cardinality of Jn which is equals to N, isn't it? So, from this it is proved that, see, this is also a finite set. Okay. So, any set A will be said to be finite if it is similar to jn where jn is the set of first 10 natural numbers okay now here see this is a point to note that the empty set is always considered to be finite okay now the next point is a is said to be infinite if a is not finite okay not finite means if it is not similar to jn then we will call that set as infinite so here the examples of infinite sets are what the set of all natural numbers set of rationals irrationals and so on okay these are all infinite sets because they are not similar to jn and their cardinality is not equals to n okay where n is any finite number okay now next point is a is countable if it is similar to j okay so uh, i have already said here that j is nothing but the set of all natural numbers okay and we have seen this that see the cardinality of n is given by lf naught okay here n is a countably infinite set okay and its cardinality is given by lf naught so the set the cardinality of all the countably infinite sets are given by lf naught okay so therefore if any set is similar to n or which in the definition is given by j then that set is said to be Sim, uh, then that set is said to be countably infinite okay and that we say as countable and let that set be a okay so if any set a is similar to j then it is said to be countable okay and here countable means countably infinite all right so some examples of this uh, countably infinite sets are now see, we know that n is countably infinite. Okay, the set of natural numbers is countably infinite. Similarly, this q, the set of all the rationals is also countably infinite. Then the set of integers is also countably infinite. Okay, so the here, this the set of all rationals is similar to j. Okay that is n and this uh, sorry this is z z is also similar to j okay so therefore the cardinality of q is nothing but the cardinality of 
in which is equals to what lf not similarly the cardinality of z is also equals to the cardinality of j okay which is equals to the cardinality of n which is what lf not all right now see a is uncountable if a is neither finite nor countable okay so any set a is said to be uncountable if it is neither finite nor countable all right next uh, see a is said to be any set a is said to be at most countable if a is finite or countable all right this means what see uh, we say any finite set to be also countable and any countable in finite set is also called countable okay so uh, generally we call any finite or countable set to be countable all right but in most of the cases countably infinite set is called as countable only so uh, this uh, we will have to see if any set is infinite okay and still it is countable if any set is infinite and still it is called countable means that is countably infinite okay and if a set is finite then it's obviously countable okay so there are two cases for finite cases that will be countable okay any finite set is said to be countable and if the set is infinite then it can be either countably infinite or uncountable okay so these are the cases all right now see countable sets are sometimes called enumerable or denumerable all right so see if two sets are finite then they will be called similar if and only if if and only if they have same number of elements that is if a is having three elements then b should also have three elements in order to be similar all right uh, and for infinite sets we will show that a bijection exist between them and then we will uh show that cardinality of a is equals to the cardinality of b and then we can easily get the is any get their cardinality okay so this was all for today please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this and keep liking my videos and uh, hit the bell icon for getting all the latest notifications this was all for today thank you